Hello everyone, welcome to Hema's Cuisine. Today we are going to make instant magic chutney. You wouldn't even need to keep anything on the stove to make this. It goes really well with dosa, idli and other stuff. If you have not subscribed to Hema's Cuisine, I, this is the time to do it. Click on the subscribe button, it's free. So this chutney is inspired uh, from Vanita Vijay Kumar's instant magic chutney. She had made it with all raw ingredients and I was kind of surprised, you know, how it would be with just raw ingredients and, you know, nothing on the stove, no sauteing, no, um, you know, cooking anything. So here we are. I have cut like four tomatoes, one onion, 10 to 12 uh, red chilies it's up to you you know however your spice level is and then like one whole pot of uh, garlic I think it came about like seven or eight and then a little bit of uh, curry leaves like eight to nine and then a bunch of coriander leaves one teaspoon of salt and quarter cup of oil so that's all I took and I put everything in the blender. If you have a sous or a pre-tea mixer, you can just grind it in anything. I just, I just wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, because it's transparent and it would grind it and we can see it. So there I dump my salt. I don't think you need like what, um, one fourth cup of oil, but just, I, I just went with her recipe so that we could try and see how it would be. But honestly, I don't think you need that much oil. Maybe next time I would just cut it off into half of that. Um, so I was like, you know, I mean, it's gonna have raw onions and raw tomatoes, but it really did came out well. For it being like completely uh, not cooked, it came out really good. And it's my instant pot <laughs> blender, guys. Um, I don't know. I have not tried a lot of recipes, but I want to. So it's ground now. I usually put it on the smoothie mode and it, it came out really good. Look at the color, guys. It's awesome. Give it a try and let me know how it came out, okay? 